Alright people, it's Sprite here, and today I've got a regular Black Ops 2 commentary, gameplay commentary, whatever you want to call it. And uh, the, uh, hopefully you enjoy the gameplay. The first part is a, a nuclear choke by like, oh my god, it's like an inch, I miss this guy. It's the 30th kill and I miss him by like an inch, so I was pretty annoyed. So hopefully you enjoy that, and I'm not sure what the second part is going to be, I haven't decided yet. But first off, I want to let you guys know, once again, I'm now partnered with G2A.com. So if you're looking for, you know, cheap games, Xbox Live, PSN cards, all that stuff... Feel free to click the link in the description and see if there's anything over there that you're interested in. Now you're probably wondering what the hell the title's on about. And basically, I, uh, I'm, I'm kind of ready now. I'm ready for the new Call of Duty. It's that time of year again when I kind of, I'm just bored of everything. You know, apart from Black Ops 1, I'm really loving this game right now. But I'm just bored. Everything's a bit stale. Everything's a bit repetitive. You know, watching and playing those games. And I guess, I guess it's kind of my own fault for leaving Call of Duty Ghost so early. Um, but I don't know what it is, that game's just weird, like, it's, and a lot of people think, oh, you left it because it's, it's hard, you don't want to challenge, I'm like, no, like, sniping on that game is just the same as every other game, it's not more difficult at all, it's just kind of boring, it's a bit plain, it's a bit stale, I don't know what it is, it's hard to describe, but I love that game overall, like, Clan Wars and, and competitive on that game is so much fun, but sniping, I don't know, it's, it's very strange, so, I guess I brought it on myself, but I'm in this situation right now where, I kind of need to enjoy these Call of Duties, and I know that sounds weird, like, oh, you're forcing yourself to play. It's not like that, because I'm enjoying Black Ops 1. I'm taking, like, kind of like a strategic break from this game, you could say, um, because what what we got, like, three, four months till the next Call of Duty, so I don't want to kind of ruin this game for myself by playing it too much, um, because I that means I'll just have to play Black Ops 1 for, like, three odd months, which I don't really want to do, because I'll probably get bored of that. And obviously, Monofed 3 and Monofed 2 are just not the games for me. You guys know this. Um, so I kind of need to take this break to see if I can get back into it because when I play I just feel lost like I just don't know what to go for what clips to go for I'm just get on I'm like oh let's get, let's go for a switch clip you know that's all I seem to do on that game so it's kind of like I need this break to see if I can start enjoying it again that would be awesome um, but I'm getting sidetracked here I want to ask you guys a question so this is probably a pretty obvious answer for me but for you guys I want you to let me know which Call of Duty you want Advanced Warfare to be based off like if you could pick a game the Call of Duty game That would be most like the next one. What would you pick like obviously for me? I would love it to be like Black Ops 1 I know it won't because I think it's like Sledgehammer Games or someone who's making it I can't remember but I'm pretty sure they worked on one of their three So obviously it's not gonna be like Black Ops 1 But I would love it to be like that game and I want you guys to let me know what you would love it to be like Obviously, it's probably gonna be your favorite Call of Duty that you're gonna pick but you guys know it's a, it's a pretty cool thing to think about and let me know in the comment section below. So, obviously I would love it to be like Black Ops 1. And the reason being is that I just loved when that game first came out, how much of a challenge it was. I'm not saying this like I'm cocky or whatever, but you know, sniping overall on most Call of Duties isn't the hardest thing to pick up. Like, you put a little bit of time into it, you can probably get pretty good. That's just Call of Duty in general. Like, if you put a little bit of time in and you've never played a first person shooter before, you would probably pick it up pretty quickly. And, um... That's obviously a good thing, but at the same time, for me, I would love a challenge. I would love a fresh game that I have to start from the bottom and work my way up. You know what I mean? So that's what I loved about Black Ops 1 because with the sway that they had at the time, it was just such a challenge. I had to put the time in. I had to get better. I had to improve. There was times I was terrible, and then I worked my way up and started to get better. And I just want that again. I just want the challenge because... It just seems it's so plain if it's so simple to do. And I'm not saying that again like I'm being cocky. But you guys know what I'm on about. Like if, if you put the time into something and it's a lot more rewarding to actually get a kill than it being so simple to actually kill someone with a sniper on these Call of Duties, I think that would be so much more enjoyable to do. So I would love it to be a challenge. I would love sniping to be a challenge. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're crazy. Like why would you want it to be hard? Because I want a challenge. I want it to be... I want it to be different, I want it to be fresh, I want. It, I just want to be challenged again. And I'm not saying that to be cocky, I, I hate to be cocky, but you know what I mean? Like, I just want something a little bit different. Um, and I know Ghost tried to do that and they failed, but sniping was still pretty simple on that game. It wasn't anything out of the ordinary. I think Black Ops 1 is the only one that kind of changed it up a little bit and people hated it for it, but I absolutely loved it. So that is why I would love it to be like Black Ops 1. A lot of you guys would probably say COD 4, which would be cool as well. But you know what I mean? Like, it, it's down to preference and I feel like it's nice to get everyone's comments about it everyone's opinions on it so feel free to leave that in the comments below and I just can't wait for Advanced Warfare to drop to be honest with you like I just love when a new Call of Duty comes out and it's such like it's such a breath of fresh air to be honest with you like when a new game comes out 
like new clips are being hit it's so much fun like you're getting new spots new maps all that stuff that's why i hate when they bring back old maps like I, i've seen that for a year i don't want to see that again like bring me new maps so that's why i love new maps new guns new clips like it's so awesome to see that and it's so awesome to see who blows up like who does really well that may have struggled on the last call of duty you know that's what i love to see about a new game and I feel like everything right now, because we've gone back to the old COD so early, everything has been hit, everything has just been drained out, and I just can't wait for the new one to drop, because I want to see fresh stuff, I want to see new clips, I want to, I just want to enjoy sniping again from a new Call of Duty, I want it to be different, so I'm really excited for that, hopefully I haven't like rambled too much in this commentary, I feel like I've been all over the place in this commentary, so I apologise if I was... But I'm really excited for this game. Obviously, it's hard to tell what it's going to be like because we haven't had a multiplayer preview yet. It's just been single player. But I, I'm, I'm keeping my hopes up. I always do. I don't really like to look at previews beforehand anyway. And I advise you guys not to do that. And so you don't get like your opinion on it really early on. And you don't get your hopes up for it to be this amazing game. And it just isn't what you think. I just kind of keep it simple keep it on the down low like i don't really watch many clips at all of the game before it comes out i'm just ready get the game and just put it in and let's play it so i would advise you guys do that too because it's just so much better because you don't get your hopes up you don't get as hyped for it as much if you're judging it off this gameplay like, oh that looks terrible oh that looks horrible it's going to be terrible you get hyped over it if you don't look at it at all and you're just thinking wow i wonder what it's like i wonder, it's, I wonder what it's going to be like i wonder if it's amazing i wonder how good sniping is all that stuff so i would advise you guys not to look at many previews at all. That's what I do, and uh, I think it really helps. So that is going to be it for today's commentary. I apologize if I was all over the place because I try start to do my outro and then I start talking about something else. So yeah, I apologize for that. But I ho really hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and the gameplay, whatever I threw in the background. Thank you guys once again for watching. Please leave a like. Let's try and hit 2,500 likes. We have been doing awesome recently, and I really appreciate that. So thank you guys once again, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.